uh, ever since I was young, my entire adult life, I put on weight and then I, I get it off and things. And it's just like, you know, it's a problem. I don't like it. I'm also too lazy to, and, and I just, it's not important enough to me to stick to a healthy diet and working out every day. I don't like it. Brian Maxey here. Listen, we all, and I mean every single one of us, have insecurities. Okay? Um, I have insecurities and, and I've, I've been gaining so much weight uh, ever since I was young. My entire adult life I put on weight and then I, I get it off and things and it's less like, you know, it's a problem. I don't like it. I'm also too lazy to, and, and I just, it's not important enough to me to stick to a healthy diet and working out every day. I don't like it. And I know that about myself. It's still an insecurity, but at least I, I kind of have some ownership of it because I understand the problem. I know what I'm doing wrong and I'm making a conscious choice not to fucking change it, right? But the key is that we all have insecurities and how you treat those insecurities is going to going to determine a lot about how your life turns out. The insecurities can absolutely rule your life, and a lot of people, they do. You can have conversations with people and be like, God damn it, your insecurities are really popping out. Just having a conversation, I can tell this, this, and this about you. Or you can rule your insecurities. You can kick the shit out of your insecurities. You know? Um, I wear little, like, jacket-type things a lot, right? Because it kind of helps hide my belly. You know what I mean? Um, and when I'm feeling good for the day and, and all that, I'll put on a little t-shirt, let, let the let the guns pop out a little bit, right? Or whatever. Um, but I own it. I own it and I, I take control of it because it, it can literally devastate you. There are people that have insecurities that just... It creates such anxiety in their life. It just literally takes over everything that they do. Um, it's on their mind constantly. It changes the way that they think, act, and talk. Um, and you're th think about it. This is an issue inside of your head that you have a problem with, and it runs your entire life. Does that even make sense? And a lot of our insecurities are really fucking garbage. Most things that we think about, most things that we have a problem with, never come to fruition. Uh, and I know I've said that before on, on different videos. Most of the things that we have problems with never come to fruition. Insecurities a lot of times are, are fit that fucking category. They're things we're insecure about, but nobody else even gives a shit. So it never comes to fruition. And so here we are letting something so minute run our entire fucking lives. Clearly that's not logical. All right, so come to an understanding of what your secure insecurities are, take control of them, understand, you know, whether it's something you can fix, something you can't fix, or something that you can fix, but you're deciding not to, you're making the choice not to, and then be okay with that decision. It, it empowers you over that insecurity, and then you can move the fuck on with your life because it is what it is, right? Try it. <gasps>